Hey everyone, welcome to today's project video. Today we're going to be talking about replacing a toilet seat to any given toilet bowl. The reason why we decided to do this project is the current toilet seats that we have, they were either shifted, broken, um, cracked, or they were just an off-white and it didn't really fit the bathroom to the look that we wanted, so we thought it was time for an update. So the things you'll need for this project, very easy. The toilet seat that you're wanting to replace, um, a screwdriver, um, I have a Phillips in this case, sometimes you will need a flathead, a wrench of some type, I'm using a socket wrench, and also I have an X-Acto knife to scrape off any glue, excess material from when you take that toilet, uh, the previous toilet seat off and are about to put the new one on. When picking out a toilet seat, you gotta make sure you have the right size. In the US, there are two different specific sizes. One's round, one's elongated. If you look at the toilet bowl, one has more of an egg shape versus a round shape. If you wanna measure, you can go from the bolt to the front of the bowl. The round is 16 and a half inches, and the elongated is 18 and a half inches. Or when you sit on a toilet seat, you can clearly tell the difference of which one has more room. Almost always, the toilet seat will come with its own hardware, so take that out, and you'll see that this specific toilet seat has two bolts and two nuts. Two nuts go on the bottom, two bolts go on top. In removing your old or current toilet seat, all you need to do is pop open these little doors that cover the bolts that you need to loosen with your screwdriver. Underneath this, if you haven't cleaned it for a while, please do. They get really gross, especially if you have a bunch of boys or kids. Just a quick visual of underneath the toilet bowl. This is where the nut tightens to the bolt and secures that toilet seat. Take your screwdriver and unloosen the bolt. If these bolts or nuts haven't been removed for a long time, they will be gross. So make sure you're either wearing gloves, washing your hands, or just trying to stay clean throughout this whole process and pop out the other bolt. This is where I use the X-Acto knife blade. It doesn't have to be an exact uh, blade like this, but this just gives it a nice clean finish, making sure all that gunk and goop and glue that was there previously is coming off. Um, I didn't want to show you how gross it was before, and that's why I cleaned it up a little bit. Take your bolts, put them in the hole, and then tighten that up with the nut at the bottom. Now, this specific toilet seat actually has a way that you can adjust the seat so you can go closer to the, to the back of the tank or closer to the edge of the bowl. Position the seat and hand tighten the bolts. As you tighten the bolts, you'll notice that the toilet seat will actually tighten or move in one direction as you do one bolt and then switch to the other. Just continue to position that toilet seat on where you want, making sure it's flush with the bowl. Um, if you like it more forward so you can grab onto the bowl easier and lift it up, that's fine. Um, or if you want it more back, whatever you feel suitable, position it to that point and make sure you tighten up. The hardware that's given in this toilet seat is actually really nice because it's plastic. If you continue to tighten, it will snap right off that little bolt on the top. Um, so there's no question as far as if it's under tightened or over tightened. Um, if you try to over tighten it, it'll just snap. Here's a close up of the bolts after they're tightened. If you want to replace it again, just unscrew the bolts. Snap those caps closed and you're done. Hi right, everyone, thanks for watching today's video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do sit down below. Um, I will be posting a review video within the next few days that will go a little bit more in depth of the product that we use for um, this specific project. Um, also, if this is your first time here, we would ask that you would subscribe to the channel. We have a whole bunch of projects coming out and in turn also produce more review videos as well. And uh, thanks for watching guys.